I activated dynamic spelling for an article I'm writing, and paragraph one tells me I'm in big trouble. Chances are, your company newsletter or annual report takes a lot of time to spell check as well. A permanent, flexible, InDesign solution is seconds away. I'm going to use another InDesign document to prepare a word list. We liberated this information from a website. Right now it's displayed as a table. And I'm going to place my cursor in that table, go to the menu, choose Convert Table to Text, click OK, take out a couple of extra returns. From the Export menu, I'm going to save this as plain text, and we'll name it something like Rings. Make sure that we can find it later on. And click Save. Then Export. Now let's go to the InDesign Preferences and create a custom dictionary. From the Dictionary menu, you can see that English USA, my default dictionary, is in place. I'm going to click the button to create a brand new dictionary. Let's name that Rings as well. Place it somewhere we can find it. Then click Save. Now we're going to add the word list we saved to our custom user dictionary. Let's go back to our example, go to the edit menu. From spelling we can then choose dictionary. Our target dictionary is going to be the rings user dictionary we created. Notice we've got case sensitive checked on, we're going to import that file. In the lower left you can see we can add to the dictionary or replace. Here we're just going to add. When our word list pops in, you can see that only the name that I've misspelled has that visible indicator. And when I change it, the indicator goes away. For all names, I just don't like to see any first name hyphenate. So if I double click on Gandalf, you can see that it appears in that word list. If I click hyphenate, it indicates where it's going to hyphenate. If I don't want it to hyphenate at all, I can type a tilde, you know, that shift squiggle in front of the one, click add, and you can see that that name no longer will hyphenate. Rather than repeat that for every single name in the list, there's a better way to prepare the list itself. That's that twist I promised you. So let's go back to the word list add the tilde in front of that first entry. Let's use the find and replace to do all the rest. Find caret p, or the paragraph symbol, replace with paragraph symbol and tilde to the end of the story. Find the first, change, change all, clean up the list. Let's export again. Use that same name, overwrite that additional list, and export. So now we're back at our document. You can see that our rings dictionary is displayed. Now we're going to import once again. Remember that new file that we saved, we're actually going to say Replaced Dictionary. Now when we click Open, all of our entries with that tilde in front are displayed, and if we double click on any of those, we can see that there's now no hyphenation. Let's take a look at our options for applying dynamic spelling. With no documents open, if we went to Preferences and Spelling, we could enable dynamic spelling right here. For right now, let's just change our option for underlining misspelled words and click OK. With the document open, let's go to the Edit menu, Spelling, and Dynamic Spelling. This enables the dynamic spelling. A better option, since it's kind of memory intense, is to import all of our text or type all of our text 
and then open up dynamic spelling afterwards, giving us a visual indicator of misspelled words.